Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Dan Mail. You see what I did there? Yes, in case you didn't know, for a few months now I have had a PO Box. A PO Box is basically a mail address that you can send me stuff without being able to stalk where I live. So as I want to be good to my dinosaurs, I will periodically make these Dan Mail videos of me opening the stuff that you send me. And this one's going to cover everything up until the 7th of November this year. So if you've sent me anything after the 7th of November, then it will be opened in my next episode. Let's get started. I think I'll start with this one for no particular reason. What could it be? <gasps> it's a t-shirt! So yes, thank you, Ms. V from Chaos Apparel Clothing for sending me a cool t-shirt, and um, oh, good thing I opened that one first, because now I can wear it for the rest of the video. <gasps> Ta-da! This one is from Lauren Parker in NE in the USA. <gasps> <laughs> well, the first thing I said when I made my peer box was, don't send me dead babies in underwear, and um, this is the nicest way that anybody could possibly do exactly what I didn't want them to, so thank you, it's beautiful. It's like a smorgasbord of lettery delights. Da, da, da. This one is from Ciara Rose Goldfinch, or Kiara, and she is 14. Apparently her mum walked in on her watching self-mutilation and thought she was watching porn. Sorry. And this one <laughs> says, I love you Dan Raff. If only I could be a giraffe. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> and this is the Dan Raff that they speak of. And what a lovely haircut this giraffe has. And this one is from Matt, called Mafu Monster, or Matt Bob's One. Oh my god. It's awesome, look. Okay, see if we can spot all the references. Zebra! Microwave. Butterfingers. If you drew a Guitar Hero controller, then you are a dedicated dinosaur, so I like it. Seductive banana, self-mutilation. I love it. In fact, what I'm going to do is, earlier today I actually bought crap lo well it's not really crap loads, a significant amount of blue tack, and because my walls are so barren and boring, I'm going to stick up all the drawings that you give me. So yes, any drawings that you send me are going to become part of my wallpaper. Someone sent me like, a dissertation of their life. Hi, I'm Amanda. Well thank you Amanda. Hopefully... I won't be dead by the time I finish reading this. California. She hopes that her handwriting is legible and she wants me to answer some questions. So, favourite type of music? I like every kind of music ever. Uh, favourite movie that you can quote every line from? Moulin Rouge. Um, but yours is Moulin Rouge. No way. Best friends. Favourite colour? Gold. Favourite book? I don't have a favourite book, but I read a series of books called The Edge Chronicles and they're my favourite thing and a drink of choice, Bimto. This is a letter from Katie from Alabama, who is also known as Juliet. Just a little thing though, you can ask me to write you a letter back, but like, a lot of people ask me to write them back, and if I did that then I'd have no time, so I'm sorry, I probably won't write back to you, but if you leave a Twitter username or an email address then I will message you talking about it and saying hi, because writing and posting out to all the corners of the earth would take a lot longer than just sending you an email, so I will mention everything that is sent to me in these videos, but if you want me to have a conversation with you, then give me your email address or something, and I will talk to you then. Oh, well, isn't this very neat? Look. Word processed. Yeah. Hey, Sabrina. How do you get your hair so soft and smooth, even when you straighten it? I sleep on it. Oh, no, it's got glitter in it. <laughs> I know that you must think it's really funny, but please don't put glitter in it, because this is just going to ex... <laughs> oh, that has just permanently destroyed my room. Oh my god, it's all on my laptop. So yes, thank you, Immy, also known as Miss Jitterbugs. You have destroyed my bedroom permanently. To Dan. Glitter. I realised. Hello Kitty. Hey Dan, this is Chloe and Luca, that's a cool name, from Limerick in Ireland. Ireland. And they want me to make a video about Twilight. Edward versus Jacob. Jacob all the way. Pretty Evie drawing as well. Evie. This is a letter from Alex who apologises for the terrible handwriting because he used a fountain pen. Well, I'm left handed so if I used a fountain pen it would just be a giant <laughs> across the page. My reason for sending this envelope is to give you this basketball bracelet of mine. Ding! I don't like basketball too much, and even if I did, I wouldn't wear it anyway. Therefore, I have sent it to my favourite YouTuber. Congratulations on becoming the disposal mechanism for all my unwanted things. 
So yes, viewers, please feel free to send me all the unwanted crap from the bottom of your bedroom. It's beautiful. I love it. Fashion. This one is from Sophie, who has immaculate handwriting on maths grid paper. I am intimidated by you. From Belgium. <laughs> and a photo of Matt Bellamy. So yes, thank you for the photo of Matt Bellamy. And of yourself. Oh my god, did she draw this? Go, Pikachu! That's awesome! Look! And my face. <laughs> Two Dan from Kimberly Lister from Scotland. Oh, it's the girl that sent me the zebra. Yes, thank you very much for your toy zebra. It actually smells really nice. I mean, I don't know if it's the smell of your house or whether it's what you smell like, but it's a really nice smelling zebra, so I might sort of like rub this on my pillow. That sounds a bit creepy, actually. Hey Dan, I want you to unfold this letter. Oh my lord. Hey Dan, I was thinking, let's send Dan some rather interesting fan mail, and what is more interesting than receiving a fan letter that is gigantical? Well, it definitely is. Keep making your amazing videos, or I may have to slaughter you. After all, I know where you live. And to make up for it, she said she sent me a cow that poos a lot. Charming keychain cow, and then when you squeeze it, that happens. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. It has the, the rustic worn look of something that's been at the bottom of your pencil case for ten years, so I will cherish it. Have I gone really orange all of a sudden? Orange attack. Oh my gosh, look. It's like the most complicated and beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. This is a letter from Savannah Bennett in Staffordshire. I'm glad that my videos have put a smile on your face, because that's what I'm trying to do by making these YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm okay. She thinks my American accent is terrible, lol. Thanks. Multicolored. This one is from Sean. Again, this is good for my short attention span because each paragraph is in a different color. And this is a person that wants me to tell her friend happy birthday. Right. Now, this is just something that I have to talk about quickly. You may not think this is the case, but believe it or not, I probably get like two emails and YouTube messages a day of people asking me to either mention or make a video or message their friends saying happy birthday. And I am more than happy to email your friend or to write them a message, but a lot of people ask me to make videos saying happy birthday to your friends, so if I don't do it, then I'm sorry, but a lot of people ask me to, so happy birthday to your friend, Sarah, and to everybody else that's ever wanted me to say happy birthday to a friend. But I'm sorry, it would take a while. Look, wow, it's a candle, and a beautiful silver candle it is. It smells like plastic. <laughs> what a scary card. It looks like an alien. Yes, the cat looks like an alien, but that girl looks possessed. Dan, one question. Why are you looking at the back of this card? The back of cards are simply pointless. Didn't your mother teach you anything? Clearly not. And this painting is imaginatively named Girl in Red Dress with Cat and Dog. And yes, it is. And this one is from... Your name can't be Evie. I just can't read. Dear Dan, your face reminds me of Freddy of Skins. That is the biggest compliment you could ever say. She wanted to send me some Parma ham to use for some special effects, but it probably would have gone off in the post. Yes, I don't think my mum would have wanted moldy Parma ham through the letterbox. This one is from Avalon, called I Hidden Truth, who is apparently a slightly retarded 12-year-old girl. <laughs> I'm sure you're not sugar-free Hawaiian punch mix. This isn't actually my glass or my spoon, but shh, don't tell anyone. Take a sip from a full bottle of water to make room for powder. Open packet and pour into glotta. Smells nice. No. It's like lava cream. Cream. It's like lava powder. Oh my god, it's so orange. I think I should maybe have a bit more water in this. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Howell. Formal. Hmm. <laughs> Kiss marks on the envelope, really. This one is from Andrea and Courtney in Canada. Ooh. I want to go to Canada. Oh my god, it's a masterpiece. It's like an illustrated Bible. Apparently we're her desktop background and she says that it's not in a creepy way, but then her friend says, it's definitely in a creepy way. Make me slightly lighter. 
Ding. Actually, that makes me look like cream. Ding. Word processed. This one is from Bridget in Everett, WA. I really need to learn what the state abbreviations are. Seattle. Postcard. She's also Native American. That's so cool. And I'll tell you something, actually. Out of every race in the world, this may seem a bit strange, but Native American people are actually the people I find the most attractive. Just a thing. And she likes the XX, which makes her awesome. From Malaysia. Ooh, exotic. By the way, I really suck at opening envelopes, so um, if you've sent me a beautiful envelope with a letter inside, I will probably destroy it, but I opened it with love. This is the shortest letter of... Is that it? <laughs> that is it. It says, Dan, get the hula hoops off Phil from Florena. In fact, it doesn't even say from Florena, it just says dash Florena. Dan, smile, get the hula hoops off Phil, Florena. I... yeah. Yes, thank you, Mysterious V2D Clothing Company, for sending me some condoms. I won't be getting chlamydia on your watch. Before this person posted it, they actually wrote valuable, do not shake, and this way up on a letter. So, um, I, d I don't know if this is a joke, so I'm going to open it extremely carefully in a way. Apparently it is from Mysterious Person, also known as Mole the Invincible. How mysterious. I've been sent some beautiful, shiny, silver butterfly temporary tattoos. They're wonderful. You know where you want to wear these stickers? On your face. <laughs> as if I'd ever do that. The moment of truth. <laughs> it's so shiny and feminine. <laughs> well, I hope to God that this isn't secretly permanent. By the way, you have no idea how unspeakably strange I looked to my friend that walked in on me putting a butterfly sticker on my face in the bathroom. If you do want me to write back, then just give me an envelope with some stamps and an address on it, and I will send you back. Because, you know, that's just fair, isn't it, really? Oh yes, and I think it's time I tried my toxic drink. This looks disgusting. And smells like sugar. Okay, right. Tastes of delicious chemicals. Not for me, but maybe diluted into about 10 litres of water, this might give a refreshing little... No. And the last thing... This box. What could it be? It says, Happy Halloween. I'm sorry I do things really late. You know, all this time I've been making jokes about people sending me dirty things and about, you know, how all of you are going to send me horrific things, but it hasn't actually happened? Well, it would be the last box where somebody has sent me a tampon with my face on it. I have never been more disturbed. <laughs> Oh god, there's quite a few of them. And what on earth is this? Um... I'm slightly disturbed by where this is leading. I'm genuinely scared. <laughs> it's got like... stains. That is the most terrifying thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, 
Well, you know what? I was asking and I was secretly hoping that somebody would send me something disturbing. So thank you very much, you crazy, crazy motherfucker that sent me tampons with my face on it and a decapitated doll. What a wonderful end to the video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And on that note, I would like to say thank you to everybody that has sent me something. Now I think it's time to decorate my wall. And there we have it. Isn't that an improvement from the death prison 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 death prison? No! A beautiful collage of wondrousness, and I will be adding to it all the time, so from now on, any drawings or cool letters that anyone sends me will go up on the wall of... My wall. So yes, thank you everybody for everything that you've been sending me. If you haven't sent me something yet, then I will leave the address in the crotch. So thank you everyone. <laughs>
we have a Pikachu, and a Snow Attack, and a Zebra, and a Dan and Phil, and a Gimp. I mean, it's a work of art. I bet you think the way I say envelope is really weird. Envelope. My name is Dan, and I say envelope. Now this one is from Rochelle in Portland, Oregon, who wrote the entire letter on this really cool wolf paper. I don't know if you can see it, but... The whole letter is so awesome, and she drew the whole thing in alternating colours with scribbles all over it. She says that I'm partially responsible for corrupting her because I showed her eel soup. Sorry. And on the back of the letter, she drew me getting caught singing the Pokemon theme tune, dancing in my underwear. And also she included this extremely awesome poster of things, which includes a far too realistic picture of me playing Xbox naked, so... Yes, you're a bit of a creeper, but you're an extremely talented one, and I love it, so thank you. This cool letter is from Stefan Smith, who said that if I don't keep making videos, they will bite off my nose and send me a dead baby. And drew a picture of me saying the game, so yes, thank you, Stefan, for your letter. Also, if you're wondering why this is moving around so much, I have to stop recording every time I open a letter, so it's like... Da -da 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 well... That was the most retarded thing I've ever done. Here we have a letter by Molly from Cheadle Hume, who says that she would kick my ass at Sonic, and that she got kicked out of a shopping centre with her friends for playing the lying down game. Good work, my minions. Generally another very entertaining and creative letter, so thank you. And here, I was sent a letter by the LOL Experiment team of people, and this is kind of really bad, because these people have been doing a YouTube experiment of how um, the emotional impact of letters, as opposed to Facebook and tweets, is more important in nowadays society. But because I suck and I only pick up my peer box every month, um, I missed the date, so I'm sorry, but... So yes, thank you for whichever one of you who did write the letter, because it did make me smile, and including actual amazing horse stickers was incredible, so I really want to find out who sent me this, so if, you know, if you know me, then please Facebook message me, because, I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do with these yet, because they're so cool, so I'm just going to put them down there. This letter is from one of my dinosaurs, Zoe, who put a Hello Kitty sticker on the top, which is always appreciated, and drew me on a dinosaur's body, which is always incredible. Um, and she sent me a US silly band, and I was like, what is this, a silly band from America? But no, it's quite literally a US silly band, so, you know, that's incredibly awesome. I will put it on my wrist. And here we have a piece of paper that says, I know how much you love Justin Bieber, so I hope you enjoy these stickers. Oh yes, just what I needed to complete the decoration for my room. <laughs> I especially like this one. Oh, he's so sensitive and pretty. This one is from Rachel Lamanna, which is a cool name, who is from Brownsburg in IN. Indiana? Don't hate me if I'm stupid. And this was another very funny letter, which included a mini toast comic, which was very epic, so thank you very much. And she included a very good drawing, which I absolutely love, which is this. You know, I, I wish I was actually this cool, you know. <laughs> this letter is from Alex, who is known as the Pete Wentz Addict, <laughs> and thinks that I look like Brendan Yuri, which is a total lie. I wish I was that cool. I am actually going to see Panic in April, which will be awesome and included <laughs> was a letter that had 25 reasons to totally love Dan is not on fire. It's quite funny because some of the reasons listed are he is so totally having a crap right this second, he likes PG lesbian sex, and he procrastinates. So yes, <laughs> thank you very much. And here I have a letter from someone called Jeremy Lyons. Thank you very much for your letter. I appreciate the thought a lot. And this letter says fragile and it had a handling fee. How exotic. Hannah from Leeds, who said that she was going to send me an iPad, but unfortunately didn't have any spare ones. Damn it. And as well as sending me a black bracelet that I will put on my wrist, she also sends me some Eclipse sweets, which I totally appreciate, so thank you. Edward. I mean, it even has Kristen Stewart doing her disabled face on the back, so, you know, I love it, thank you. And because you gave me a stamped envelope with your address on it, I will happily write you back. Here we have a letter from Cat X in the X hat, which is a cool name, who hopes that I am enjoying the serious business that is university. And yes, you are right, I probably am opening this late, but I appreciate that you wished me a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Tiny heart. And then this. It says, I hope your mother doesn't find this. Porn. <laughs> I lolled. And then at the bottom of the pile, there was this mysterious letter, and then I went, what is on the other side? How many times am I going to lose the game in a single video? I think way too many. And I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Do I need to change the white balance, or is this okay? Cat on the envelope. What is that? Seriously? 
seriously. And here we have a very nice letter from a girl called Grace, which is extremely nice to look at with rainbows and roses and such. Um, she loves all of my videos, especially on this channel, which is a good video, isn't it? And her teacher thinks she's a bit weird because she claims that my grave was an onomatopoeia. I have no idea where you got that from. She included this poster that just says Danville, Danville, Danville that I will stick on my wall and this very cute drawing of me with the zebra on my head that I love. This is impossible. <laughs> this one is sealed with efficient paper clips. This one is from Kelly, who says that she would love to meet me in person, but she lives in Bury, which is about 10 minutes away. You know, there are people that live in Australia. That's further away. There are a couple questions she asked that I will answer for you. Will there be a Phil is Not on Fire 3? What is the one band slash artist you would recommend to your dinosaurs? Muse. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like Pokemon? Honestly? Probably a solid nine. So yes, thank you for your beautifully handwritten letter, I must say. The Christmas card you sent in January, which I fully appreciate, and another awesome drawing that will be sure to go somewhere in the middle of my wall, so thank you very much. I will also make practical use of these pink paper clips, and I will write you back. Here we have Emma, who has apologised that the envelope is actually handmade from a list of Sims cheats because she couldn't find a real envelope which I do not think you have to apologise for, because I thought that that was very awesome. And she has included a drawing of me. I don't know if you can see it really well, but it's so delicate and really well detailed, and I love it, so thank you very much for drawing it for me. Here a charming girl called Kelly said, Hi Dan, I would send you an envelope with my address on it. Anyways, don't rape anyone. <laughs> I apologise if I have corrupted any of your innocent minds. And included is this very... Oh my... I was going to say it was this lovely drawing of a dinosaur until I realised it said the game again. Jeez, fucking bloody bit of... Thank you. Oh, I'm going to have a bit of a Blue Peter moment. This is from Mihaela, I think it's pronounced, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, who is from Bulgaria, who ends her very nice letter saying, Kisses from all your Bulgarian friends, which sounds pretty nice. Unless you're all 12-year-old girls, in which case... Rawr. She said she wasn't sure if I knew that Bulgaria existed, and she drew me a very informative and well-drawn map showing me where Bulgaria is in Europe. Don't worry, I know where Bulgaria is. I actually have a female friend called Bibi, who comes from Bulgaria. Very pretty picture of some Bulgarian mountains. And happy Valentine's Day to you too. And a Valentine's Day love balloon. Again, another very awesome envelope here. The postman must seriously think that I'm an extremely weird person. It's totally me, how did they know? And here we have mail from Sophia and her friend that come from Bournemouth, who said that their letter better make it into Dan Mail too. And drew the results of their own participation in the blindfolded catface game, which I thought was very funny. And they also included another really good drawing of me and Phil, which is super cute. And then Armageddon, which is good. I'm gonna have a pretty full wall by the end of this. I must say, I do appreciate the Captain Scarlet stamp. Captain Scarlet. It says smell the inside of me. It smells like strawberries and I hope it isn't something horrific. And another one. I'm guessing blueberry. Although this may just be Rehypnol and they're in fact spying on me from the tree outside my window and they're planning on taking me away and ri- And here we have a very awesome letter from Selena and Elise. The entire letter is awesome. It has a bell on the letter. My favourite song on Danger Days is either Summertime or Vampire Money, I am undecided, and they they drew a picture of what I will look like in 10 years if I don't keep going to the gym, which is extremely insulting, but probably accurate. And I love how you didn't tell me what they smell of, it's just it's a question mark, I will never know. I will never know now. A party popper to blow in Phil's face, plastic for my plastic -y needs, an Eeyore sticker, and they want me to tie my hair up with this hairband. Mm. Oh wow, that is terrifying. I look like one of those trolls, but horrifically deformed. <laughs> this one is from Ruby, which I think is a very cool name, who sent me a watercolour painting, which is awesome. The first watercolour of my wall. And she says that she likes my dimples. <laughs> Dimples. And this smorgasbord of delights is from Tamsin, who says she has enclosed some stuff that she doesn't want anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Included was a very awesome series of drawings. A beaver on a pole. A tiny little bow tie, which I think is a hair clip. Also some sticky notes in the shape of speech bubbles, which I actually think is really cool and I will probably use them quite practically. A piece of paper with some questions on it. How old are you? 19. Do you have a nickname? Bear. What is your favourite word? Placenta. Koalas or pandas? Pandas. What is your favourite flavour? Yoghurt. Vanilla. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Do you play any musical instruments? Piano, ocarina and drums. 
Who's your favourite YouTuber? I don't know. But yes, thank you very much. That was awesome. And here we have the final box. Which I left to last because it was the biggest thing. What the hell is this going to be? Oh, God. To Dan, I'm glad you liked our last package. I'm sure Matilda will have a great life with you. In brackets, the decapitated doll. <laughs> I'm sorry for your Christmas present because it's a bit late, but I'm sure what's inside will make up for it. Lots of love and blood from your creepiest stalkers. Go and read the Bible, you creepy zoophile. Zoophilia is wrong. I'm not a zoophile. In this envelope is a picture of Susan Boyle's vagina. Open it if you dare. Oh my god, you actually opened it, you sicko. Why would you want to look at a picture of Susan Boyle's vagina? You disgust me, get out. <laughs> I didn't want to, you sent it to me. Why would I want to look at that? I'm actually surprised by how nice this is so far. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? That looks like something that you'd find at some, like, horrific Satanist murder scene. Why does she have a shoe glued to her face? What is that? I don't even... I d oh, oh, it's squishy. Great, now to move on to the final thing. Now that you've moved to university, you don't live with your mum anymore, and we might want to make you some lunch. Open with caution, because this could get messy. We checked online, placenta is edible, but we don't recommend you eat this. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's all slimy. Ugh. Wow, this is sure wrapped up tight. What the hell is that? What? Duh, oh, my, oh. That is... Uh. It's like a tiny jelly baby alien in loads of disgusting fluid. Complete with plastic hands that have been removed from something. I don't even know what to say. Well, now that I've um, washed the afterbirth off my hands, I can say that that was suitably horrific, so yes, thank you. Sometimes, you know, I think just a nice letter and then a watercolour painting, you know, I think I think that, that shows just as much love as, um... What? Yeah. But no, really, I appreciate the work that you've gone to, and I'm sure that all my friends will find this hilarious. And on another delightful note, I would have to say that that is the end of Dan Mail 2. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody that has sent me something. Again, as usual, the address if you want to send me something is down below. Um, I will be doing another video sometime later this week. I don't know what it's about yet, but if this goes down well, it may be Dan Mail 3 because I have a lot of stuff to be getting on with. So yes, I hope you're all good. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it didn't turn out to be too long. And now I think it's time I added to my wall. And here it is. So last time you left, it was just that lot there. But now I have put all of this and that and all the way going over to... Oh yes, and before I go, or before I forget, I am in this week's episode of Apartment Red, so please click on the link at the giant picture that I will put on the end of this video, and go watch it, because I'm in it. Uh, it's all about TV episodes. So yes, go there and watch it, and leave a comment saying what your favourite TV series is, and that you love Dan, and he's amazing. Bye! <laughs>
that got crushed in the mail. <laughs> Are you from French Canada? Is French Canada what it's called? I'm so ignorant. You know, to be honest, I probably am going to eat these anyway, so thank you. This is a drawing from Askyla Burnside, or is that Askyla? Askyla? Why do you all have such cool names that I can't pronounce? Why can't you all just be called John and Susan? I will open you carefully. Yes, a, a very awesome funny letter. My star sign is Gemini. And the drawing she sent me was actually of the porno mime from the Panic video, if you remember. Apparently she said that he reminds her of me. I don't know what you mean by that. Should I be worried? And some dead baby underwear. Thank you very much. This is from Breck in Arizona. And contains a stuffed animal. It's a cute little cloud! Or is it a rice triangle? The eternal dilemma. You didn't say in your letter! She's gonna make a video of herself sending me the mail and then is gonna watch damn mail. Paradox. And some blue Play-Doh, at least I think it's blue. I can't open a Play-Doh tub. I'm such a strong man. Bloody hell, what are these things? I'll try not to eat it, but I'm not making any promises. This is a very neatly presented one from Ashley Wang in California. Ooh. What could it- Whoa! There is a red envelope that says open me. You know, one day in my life, maybe this won't happen. And then it pops out into- Whoa! Generally a really good poster here. We've got a good drawing of me and Phil, Frank from Donnie Darko, everything from all of our videos, a little slide reel of little screenshots from us, and then a hidden letter. Cool. Ashley's never sent a letter before because they'd be afraid that I'd throw them in the trash. <gasps> I'd never throw a damn mail in the trash. I keep them all safely stored under my desk. Thank you so much. This one is from Jessica in California. I really like these US customs declaration forms because they give me a hint of what's going to be inside. This one contains a gift picture. Hmm. Rubysama.deviantart.com. A parcel within a parcel. What is this inception? She's apologizing for her handwriting, which as usual is completely immaculate. Hello, twin sister. And yes, I do listen to some Japanese or Korean music. I'm not gonna lie, I do love a good bit of girl band K-pop. <laughs> oh wow, it's printed on super shiny paper. <gasps> That's awesome! Look at that! It's on such shiny, shiny paper, it'll be like a, a mega HD beacon on my wall. Thank you so much, Jasmine. This one is from Liam in Weymouth. Yes, another boy. A drawing of me in the back, complaining about the brownness of my room. Now, Liam actually sent me a very well-written and hilarious letter saying that he has drawn me an advert for Dan Mail. Ta-da! Now that's awesome. He says he guarantees it'll be on every bus stop and billboard in the country. Well, I agree. I think it should be. What a delightfully strange letter. Thank you. I need a haircut. I thought I was nearly finished, and then I noticed this. Okay, I need to speed up. As a rule, I'm not going to trust anybody that asks me to smell something. I don't know where it's been. Oh, it's a card with things inside. Also, Jessica wanted to know if I've ever had high chew before. No, I haven't. I will try one now. I hope this doesn't have rehypnol in it. Mmm, apple. I like. Oops. Mmm, I think it's broken. Focus, focus, focus. And we're back from our intermission. Billy sent me a card which entitles me to enter some sweepstakes to win a Greek holiday. Thank you so much. Here she is. And also some love making wrist accessories. This one is from Sarah Good in Denmark. Exotic. I think everywhere is exotic. Denmark stamps. And Sarah's letter included a number of mysterious notes, which include an invitation to play SingStar at her house and a note saying that Denmark in Danish is actually called Denmark. I am the king of. Daneland. Leah from California thought it was appropriate to send me this Chicago postcard. Thank you very much. This letter's from James. Yes. Who wants to know if I play WoW? Yes, I have a level 70 tour in Druid. Nerd, nerd, nerd. And drew the very hungry dinosaur, which is a reference only cool people will get. This one is from Heather, who sent me a letter on Pokemon paper. Doesn't get more awesome than that. A really good drawing. Thank you very much. Some cucumber face mask. And a penguin earring. Penguin, penguin, penguin. A very pretty postcard of Virginia from Katie, thank you! And an awesome drawing by Kendall, including a unicorn silly band. Here I have a birthday card from Charlotte who says, Dan, I know it's probably not your birthday, but quite frankly, I do not care. I thought that I would send you something that reflects your maturity, so here it is. Thanks! A rainbow of Dan's around the envelope from Kat in Ireland. Where are your free socks? Um, you, you know, they're, they're just like lost at the bed. Yeah. Say hello to my little friend. What does she mean? Succumb to my cuteness. 
obey me going on the wall thank you here we have a very funny letter from tasha in landan who draw a good picture of me and wants to know if i like enter shikari dude i've been liking enter shikari since like 2005 on myspace Get with the times, man. Thanks! These haichus are incredible, by the way. I'm probably gonna eat them all before I finish the video. Ha 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 ha. Here we have a letter from Jessie Hine, who says that she nearly died on the day that I posted my I nearly died video. Crazy coincidence. And that her brother made me this origami ninja star. Shuriken! Also, the whole letter was written on My Chemical Romance paper, which I didn't even know existed. How awesome is that? And here is her attempt at the blindfolded cat face game. <laughs> Here we have an obscene postcard, cereal box cutout from a girl called Sheridan in Newcastle, which was hilarious, but is not suitable for the internet. <whistles> right, okay, this letter says, don't worry, I didn't have any glitter, but I did have, so, you know, I'm not going to fall for it, I'm going to open it at the top. <laughs> you sent me a letter bomb filled with sequins. Well, thank God I was careful, otherwise I would have had a massive Kesha sequin orgy explosion in my bedroom. You fiends. And Beth Martin, who sent the sequin bomb, would like me to give her a telepathic hug. I don't know. And what could this last thing be? Oh my God. The game is a great game to play when you feel like gaming. If you want a good fun game to play when the game is the perfect game, the game's the winning, the gaming, and the gaming, and the... <laughs> the ultimate poster of horror. But thank you very much. Wow, cool envelope. Look at that. This Finnish delight is from R-O-N-J-A, who says there is no way that I can pronounce her name. No offence. Well, it's not Ronja. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's Ronja or Honja. Well, you could have told me. And apparently this is Happy Dan, and this is Unhappy Dan. I must be depressed. <laughs> I love to give hugs. And thank you for this very funny 30 second drawing of me looking very confused with Justin Bieber haircut. No, I love it. Thank you very much. Also, to all the foreign people who keep saying that their English is terrible, your English is completely immaculate. I know people that are English that speak bad English. This letter was from Jess from England who sent me a samurai hat, although I think it's a bit small to put on my head. I'm like a ninja Jew. This letter is from pman590, who sent me some tongue tattoos. I have never heard of tongue tattoos before. Have you? Will I just take something that some random person sent me and put it in my mouth? I think I will. Oh my god. Sorry, by the way, for showing you all my mouth. I know you're probably finding this disgusting, but oh my god. Now, let's hope that I don't die. Here a nice letter from a girl called Lucy. Yes, I will check out your YouTube channel. Thank you for your letter. This beautiful letter is from Tiffany from Hong Kong, who is, again, apologizing for her handwriting because she's Asian. I mean, like, seriously, if you saw one of my exam papers, it's so pretty. Thank you. Here is an awesome drawing sent in by Effie, which is full of quotes and a rainbow explosion. Thank you very much. Moustache envelope. Would a moustache like this suit me? I'm thinking yes. Sun's going down, turn up the exposure. Bing. It is a word process letter from Lani in California who says all sorts of really lovely things. Apparently I gave her swine aids, so it must be really contagious if you can do that through video. And a picture of Justin Bieber with a less than three. Thanks. And a lovely drawing that I will put on my wall. Thank you. This is a letter from Ashley Marie in South Carolina who wants to know what college and life is like in England. Probably pretty much exactly the same as in America. And she says that she has ADOS, which is Attention Deficit. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> I lolled. Here we have Amira Marie, who said that I helped cheer her up when she was feeling down, which really means a lot to me. Thank you for writing this. And she also says that she is probably my only African-American, German, Irish, Puerto Rican, and Native American subscriber. Wow! And she also sent me her lucky wristband from when she was six. Here we have Abby, who sent me a really nice letter, which wasn't a fail, don't worry, and a fluorescent orange wristband. This is from Janet in Durham, United States. Awesome calligraphy. Dear Dan, I love you. I just think of you every second of the day. I fantasize about you while in bed and in the tub. I just dream of cutting you open and licking your insides while Phil watches tied up and naked from the corner. Love, Janet. There's always one, isn't there? Also, her friend wants to kidnap me and cut off my legs and arms so that I won't be able to escape from her closet. This is just making this letter more ominous to open. You know what? I think I might learn from my past lessons. I'm not gonna even open this. 
And finally, how exciting. I hope it isn't something horrific. Oh god. A bra! <laughs> Some Haribo, which is actually quite a nice present, so thank you very much. Some Playboy perfume. What am I gonna do with this? And two proposal jelly rings, one for me and one for Phil. I will make sure to give him his. And inside the box are two Valentine's cards, one for me and one for Phil. To my wife, Daniel. I'm so glad we met that night in the line dancing club. Wow. And then apart from a couple things which I am not gonna even show you, We have this. Right. Okay. Wow, I am gonna drop that right now. What the fuck is that? Is that Lara Croft? I am sorry, but anything covered in someone's hair, I am not gonna go near. Be right back, I'm just gonna go to the incinerator. Burn it, burn it. The next down mail is going to happen in my bedroom at home because I am leaving uni for Easter. Spring break! Well, yes, thank you very much. I am sorry for how horrifically long this video is probably going to be. But yes, the info will be in the description and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for all the cool things, everybody. I'm going to have a very happy wall. <laughs> Goodbye!